Why are you here? Because I know you ain't coming back. You hear me? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You stand if you like, but there again, I warn you. I get the early preach on you. Start preaching for you to read. You know, praise God. Second Chronicles 20, verse 14 and 15. Then upon Jehaziel, the son of Zechariah, the son of Benaiah, the son of Jael, I guess that's how you pronounce it, Jael, the son of Matananiah, <laughs> So I'll say back to the Nanaya. That's what you got to do. You don't know how to say some of these words. Uh, a Levite of the sons of Asaph came the spirit of the Lord in the midst of the congregation. And he said, Hearken ye all Judah and ye inhabitants of Jerusalem, thou King Jehoshaphat. Thus saith the Lord unto you, Be not afraid nor dismayed by reason of this great multitude. For the battle is not yours, but God's. Somebody say, but God's. Hallelujah. God. While you're being seated, look at your neighbor and say, you need a but faith. <laughs> Praise God. <laughs> you need a, you need a, ain't that funny, you're sitting on your butt saying, you need but faith. Praise God. Amen. But the but I'm talking about here is where we butt in. We, we, we literally butt in with faith and say to the circumstances and the stuff that's rising, the storms. Come on, somebody. The fights and the, and the battles. And we say, but God. Come on, somebody. But God. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but. But the Lord delivered them out of them all. Psalm 34, verse 19. Somebody say, but. The Lord delivered them out of them all. This is my infirmity. This is my affliction. This is the attack. This is the problem. But right. my God shall deliver them. Deliver them out of them all. Praise the Lord God. Amen. Look at your neighbor and say, you got to get the foot in your mouth. Hallelujah. <laughs> oh, you got to say, these are the afflictions, but come on, stop. But my God shall deliver me out of them all. This is what the prophet a man whom the Spirit of God that came upon in the midst of the congregation was saying to Hezekiah, he was saying to Jehoshaphat, king of Judah, king of praise, because Judah we know in Hebrew means praise. Amen. He was saying to the people of God, I don't want you to be afraid. I don't want you to be dismayed. The word dismayed simply means to be at the point where you're about to fall apart. Look at your neighbor and say, whatever you do, please don't fall apart. Some of you are struggling over losing your mind. Look at your neighbor and say, get free. Go ahead and lose it. If you don't learn to lose it, you're going to fall apart. Come on, somebody. Because you can't trust the Lord with all your heart as long as you're leaning on your own understanding. Proverbs 3, verse 5. Tell them somebody. Amen. God can't be figured out. That's why you must faith him. Come on, somebody. You can't figure God out. you got faith. you got to trust him even when you can't trace him. Glory to God. On the time of this message tonight, the Holy Ghost gave it to me. Amen. In time of this, the fights of 15 are fixed. Thank you. Lord. <laughs> well, I didn't get it, Jesus. I didn't get it. So I say the fights, the fights of 15 are fixed. This is what I heard. Man, just a few days ago, the Lord put that in my spirit. He gave me that divine deposit in my spirit, amen, from what he was saying about this year. And I know this morning I skinned people up. We preached, you know, in Hosea 6 and 5. Hosea 6 and 5, God said, with my prophets, I have hewn them or cut them. And I came as a prophet this morning cutting. Come on, somebody. Have the sword and the spirit out. Come on, somebody. There's a time for that. But the Holy Ghost told me tonight, for those that come in this house tonight, and those who would watch tonight, and those who would listen from this audio in the future from tonight, he wants me to prophetically proclaim that the fights of 15 are fixed. See, God said in Isaiah chapter 40 and verses 1, Speak comfortably unto Jerusalem. Speak comfortable unto her. Say unto her, her warfare is accomplished. Verse 2. The word accomplished simply means it's finished. It's fixed. It's already over before it can ever begin. God said, I want you to come. 
comfort my people and tell them before the devil ever brings the battle, it's already over. It's already won. See, we as saints of God, we don't fight toward victory, we fight from victory. First Corinthians 15, 57 to thanks be unto God who gives us the victory through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. No, someone say a fight that is fixed. And God said the fights of 15, here we are, just in the first Sunday of 2015. And it's amazing from a scripture found in 2 Chronicles chapter 20, verse 15. Yeah. The Holy Ghost said, don't be afraid by reason of this great multitude. Don't be dismayed. Look at your neighbor and say, don't have a nervous breakdown. Don't fall apart. Oh, God. Come on, somebody. Look at your neighbor and say, you have faith in God or you have a nervous Choice. Amen. Hallelujah. Here God is saying from the platform of 2 Chronicles 20, verse 15, about a year 2015, to those who live for Him and those who walk up right before Him. God says, Before the storm can ever come, I've already made it calm. Before the problem can ever arise, and I've not come to prophesy and tell you that there's going to be no problems. Don't misunderstand me. Because in this world,
steps out and with nothing but words right. says and it becomes. Right. Come on. We don't serve a duplicator. We serve a creator. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Somebody said, well, the day of miracles have passed, Brother Marvin. Well, Psalm 24, verse 31 said, He sends forth His Spirit and creates them and renews the faces of the earth. Yeah. Friend, the day of miracles have never come to an end because today is a miracle. What He did on the first day in the book of Genesis, He did all over again today. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I said He did it all over again today. Today itself is a miracle. He's Creator God. Somebody shout, He's Creator. That's why He can say to an organ that's been surgically removed, I command you to get back in that body. Jesus spit in the ground. What time don't you like the master friends? There's people today involved in Christendom. If I brought me a bucket of dirt and put it with me. And stirred it around with the finger, so you'd hear, you'd hear lids, plastic lids going to a man in a hand sanitizer. <laughs> Some people be leaving. Come on, man. Just, just the thought of it make them want to go take a bath and hand sanitizer. Jesus spit in the dirt and made mud. Took a man he couldn't see blind and shoved the mud in his eye. There's spit and mud. First church of the spit and mud. He said, go wash in the pool of silo.
I don't know what news you're going to hear that's going to be bad. But God wants you to know the good news is all that bad news will be wrong because God says I'll have it fixed. Before it can ever happen, I've already made a way of escape. Listen, God said in His precious word, when, somebody said when. When. He didn't say He said, when the enemy shall come in like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord lift up a standard against him. Isaiah 59 verse 19.